You see, the thing is, every single laptop brand makes terrible laptops. There isn't any brand that hasn't made a bad laptop, or at least a laptop with some major design flaw. And I'm not just talking about things like what processor it has or how much RAM it has, but also things like the build quality, or, or if it's going to have a critical failure, or um, is it going to fall apart after a couple of years? Of course, most of the responsibility for taking care of your laptop lies with the responsibility of the owner like making sure that you open the laptop from the middle and not hitting it with an ax. But some laptops are much more fragile than others, and some will just fall apart after very basic minimal use. Just like every brand makes terrible laptops, nearly every brand makes laptops that are more durable than their cheaper laptops. Well, then you might just think that more expensive means better. If you just spend more money on a laptop, then you'll get a better laptop. But it's not that simple either. Some of the highest performance gaming laptops can have mixed build quality, with some having major design flaws that could cost hundreds of dollars to repair once the warranty expires. Okay, so what laptops won't self-destruct? Well, aside from the crazy military-grade laptops, the next best thing would be business laptops. Well, what is a business laptop? A business laptop is a laptop that's made specifically for businesses. To put this into context, I went to Best Buy. They have many different models of laptops with various different degrees of performance. But not a single model in the entire store is a business laptop. They got laptops from Dell, but no business laptops from Dell. They got laptops from HP, but no business models from HP. Then they also got Lenovo laptops, but not a single Lenovo ThinkPad. That's because Best Buy is a consumer electronics store, and every laptop model they sell is a consumer model. The main target demographic for these models of laptops are for people who need a home laptop. They aren't really for businesses. And the main selling point for these laptops is their perceived value based off how much money. So all these different models are trying to be the best value for the money. When a business wants to buy a thousand laptops for their employees, they want to make sure that they pick a model of laptop that isn't going to destroy itself because they don't want to deal with having time loss from having a broken computer. So what they do is they choose these business laptops, and these are the laptops that are made for them. They are made to be durable enough to last until they decide to replace that, which is usually uh, four to six years. And they usually come with much better warranties than consumer model laptops. The best business laptops are often considered the Lenovo ThinkPad. But not just any Lenovo ThinkPad. The ThinkPads T-Series and P-Series are considered to be the most durable. That's because some of their ThinkPads are just rebranded consumer models. One thing I noticed is that the more durable models can come with a smart card reader built in. A smart card is often used in businesses as an authentication for extra security. College students probably won't need a smart card reader, but you know that if it has one or has a blank slot for one, then you know that that particular model is probably a pretty durable model that was specifically designed for business use. The T14 is designed for office tasks with mid-range processing power, and the P16 and P1 are workstation models, which are used for intense graphical tasks. New laptops can be quite expensive, but if you buy a used one, that can be a much better bang for your buck. So here is a list of used models that you can look at that I think are pretty durable and still hold up pretty well today, even when it comes to processing power. Some of the other business laptops that companies buy from are from Dell and HP. When asking IT professionals from various different companies what they think, I got mixed responses. Some said that HP business laptops were much better quality than Dell. 
while others made claims to substantial issues with HP devices and prefer Dell models. From what I can tell, the mid-range business laptops from Dell, otherwise known as the Dell Latitude 5000 series, are pretty durable models with a few flaws. For starters, the keyboard does not have a very pleasant typing experience. And the touchpad is kind of cheap feeling. And the screen is pretty dim, with most only reaching 250 nits. Also, the outer coating on the covers can chip off pretty easily when dropped or when removing a sticker. Although, when I went to the Micro Center, it seems like the newest ones are made out of a slightly different material than they have been in the past three years, so they may hold up better, or worse, we'll see. Despite the flaws, these are still quite durable laptops, and these issues aren't going to prevent their users from using the laptops. After all, companies don't really care if their employees like the laptops that they are given. They mostly care about if the laptop works and how much productivity they're able to get out of it. The Dell Latitude 5000 series are very easy to disassemble and work on. So even if something does fail, they are pretty easy to work on, with Dell providing a very comprehensive owner's manual that shows you how to fix or replace nearly every component on this laptop. Here is a list of some of the newer Latitude series that are available. And just like the ThinkPads, buying a used model can be a great bang for your buck, especially if you look at models that already have some cosmetic issues. Here is a list of some used models that I can recommend. If you need something with much more performance than the 5000 Latitude series, there's also the Dell Precision series, which not only has better performance than the Latitude, but also has much better build quality. The 7000 Precision series are the best laptops that Dell produces. They are also the most expensive and go for as much as $8,000 with the fully maxed out specs. Well, that's pretty expensive. But if you customize it to have lower specs, you can get it for a bit cheaper. There is also the 5000 Precision series, which has a more MacBook-like design with very few ports. And just like the other models, it's also a great bang for your buck to get older and used Dell Precision series. Keep in mind that these are not your average laptop. These laptops are considered mobile workstations, which means they are more like desktop replacements. So these models are quite heavy and have pretty terrible battery life. If you are a college student and need better performance, it could be better to get a laptop that's light and efficient and then have a desktop uh, for higher performance task. Here's a list of different used Dell Precision series that I think are pretty good. HP is often regarded as having many issues with their laptops, especially considering with their hinges and uh, also various other issues as well. However, there have been several people who have said that they've had better luck with the HP business laptops, or at least some of the HP business laptops, uh, versus some of the Dell laptops. From what I understand, HP laptops, including the Business Series and Elite Books, have had quite a lot of issues, mostly around the 2017-2020-ish year ranges. And some people have said that they have gotten better than they used to be. From those people, they suggested the HP Elite Book 800 series and 1000 series. Here's a list of some business models that exist from HP. Or you could just get a Mac. I'm not a big fan of Apple as much as the next guy. But I have to admit, when it comes to Apple products, they're pretty good at keeping a consistent quality. I would say MacBooks are not the highest quality devices that are out there. 
but I would say they are far better than the worst Windows laptop. And their consistency of consistently making mediocre laptops is pretty convenient for people because then they don't have to worry about getting a bad laptop because then they could just buy a MacBook. There has been some issues with um, certain MacBooks in the 2015 era, but if you got something like a newer MacBook M1, then that would probably be pretty fine. If you need Windows, you could also run it on a virtual machine. Although, considering that a Mac has an ARM-based processor, certain applications may not work as well as it would on a Windows x86 machine. When I go the business laptop route, it's not that I'm saying every consumer laptop is terrible. I'm sure there are some great consumer laptops out there. The problem is that many different laptops are designed by different engineers with different management and different budget constraints. And it's really hard to make something that is consistently good quality while also being able to make a product that's able to be priced competitively. For example, I've heard many people saying great things about Asus laptops, but I've also heard many people saying bad things about Asus laptops, like issues that they've had. Um, various different issues and hardware issues, um, sometimes software issues. And even when I went to Best Buy, there was an Asus laptop that was freaking out and not turning on correctly. But that doesn't mean that all Asus laptops are bad. Heck, that doesn't even mean that that particular model of Asus laptop is bad. It's possible that that particular Asus laptop was ha had some sort of defect or something that not all of the other models have. It's hard to know if a brand new laptop is going to last or not because there aren't any long-term reviews at that point. Especially if it's a company that isn't super motivated to keep a good reputation across all of their product lines. Either way, the point is that they are not all the same. And every brand will have many, many different models of laptops made from many different groups of people. Also, I'm only human, so if you have personal experiences that are different than what I said, feel free to share them in the comments below. What you say might be able to help someone else. You could let other people know what models of laptops you've owned, and if you've had good, bad, or mediocre experiences with that particular model of laptop. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, consider hitting the like button. And I wish you the best of luck on your search for an awesome laptop. If you like this video, consider taking a look at some of my other content and see if there's something else that you like.